you ever been mistaken for somebody else? Well, this is what happened to Andy Hopgood, who was set up by his lovely wife, Shirley. Andy and Shirley were enjoying a romantic meal when our surly waitress mistook him for an old flame who'd done a runner. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Enjoy your meal. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Got here at last. Here's Shirley. Here's Hello. Andy. Good afternoon. Thanks very much. Thank you. And here's yes. our stroppy um, waitress. Minestrone. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Those are the main courses. All right. Those are the starters. <laughs> Order some white for me. Some white or red. Uh, red preferred for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I wonder where this is headed. <laughs> what are you doing here? Why have you brought her here? Is it? That's my wife, do you want? Oh, is it? Oh, is it really? Can we get this sorted out? Why have you brought her here? Why have you brought her here? <laughs> Why have you brought her here? Because you come out for a day out. Oh, yes, and you thought you'd come and humiliate me? I don't even know you. Don't say that to me. You don't recognise me. No, I don't. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? She's obviously a banger. What about the Prince of Wales podcast? Does that mean anything to you? Prince of Wales. The Prince of Wales. No. That's where you met me. No, I didn't. You really don't recognise me. We don't know, Shirley. Was it on the lorries? No, I don't. Yes, he was on the lorries then. Okay. I don't. Yes, he was. Shirley. You trifled with me. You trifled with my affections. You got me joking. You did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> well, I remember. I don't know you. How long has this been going on for Why you? Why have you been going on, Shirley? <laughs> Why are you hurting me so much? <laughs> Why are you denying our love? <laughs> no, you, you're a big woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Andy, Who's the manager? You just fucking this is life. Ridiculous. You just walk back into my life and then you deny what, what we had together. How long have you been seeing oh, her? Stupid. I've been married to her for 20 years. <laughs> What about when you used to stay with me? Huh? When you used to stay with me? Are you a manager? Yes, I certainly am. May I inquire as to why Can your wife is throwing soup over you? This is a respect respectful establishment. It's your I will not have the rest of It's your It's your waitress threw it over me. Well, I can find that very difficult to believe. My waitress has been with me for eight now. years and I have no reason to believe that she would act in this irresponsible way. <laughs> you want to, you know... Who's this? Check on her a bit. Is that your husband? Oh, God. Who's that? I don't know. I don't know. May I inquire as to what is going on here? Obviously, something you is going on. You gave this to me eight years ago when you yeah, declared your undying I'll love for me. Love, don't be dying. <laughs> I'll tell you something else that he's got as well. Oh, I'm sorry, but he's got, he's got some, um, some moles on his stomach. Oh, you see. Oh, is this well, true? She, can she see through your shirt, I suppose? And he's got a big, the biggest, biggest <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> 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 
Shows them all your stuff. I don't know the lady. I don't know where she's, she's got the information from. Well, she... show me your stomach. She knows you. Oh. Show me your stomach. I told you he's got moles on well, his stomach. Well, I'm sorry. Yes, we have got moles on his stomach. Is it really got you? Is it my appendix scar? I'm not showing it. It is. It's the biggest appendix scar I've ever seen. I can assure you she would not behave in this way unless she had very good reason to, and I'd like you to explain. Is she on loan from the mental hospital or something? Denying our love. Denying our love. So, stupid. Could you please calm down now? I've got to go back to Oxford like this, nearly, surely. Well, you'll be going back on your. This is. The thing you can do now is to settle up the bill and go, okay? Well, I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so. Well, you have nothing yet. I think you better settle up. Well, you've obviously had the soup, haven't you, sir? If you want to wear it, that's up to you, but it's already... <laughs> if you could settle that, that is probably the best thing to do now, and just go. Yeah, I'll settle that, mate. I'll take doing that, sir, because I'll just make another one up. You make as many as you want, Captain. Does this mean you won't leave a service tip? <laughs> you won't leave even a service charge? I won't leave you a mate. The only thing that I want is... <laughs> it's PC Beetle uh, to we'll investigate what's wrong. lovely couple. What a great performance from Shirley. She was absolutely marvellous, but wasn't he amazing? Ladies and gentlemen, Annie Hopgood. <laughs>